boom, we are back. Continue our quest for education, uh, discovery tour, Assassin's Creed. We're almost done this one. Uh, maybe we could probably end off these last three. Uh, just a short session for today. Um, yeah, let's see what we can learn from this one. Important monuments in Cyrene. So again, if you're just joining us, this is uh, Assassin's Creed Origins uh, Discovery Tour. It's a downloadable content. It's not even really a DLC. It's like an add-on pack. And um, they initially created it for university students studying history to give them a more engaging um, viewpoint. I thought it was actually really cool. It's a pretty awesome way to do it. Start. Welcome to Important Monuments of Cyrene. I love how they uh, jump back and forth between the girl's voice and the guy's voice. It's kind of cool. The Sanctuary of Apollo sits on a prominent edge of the plateau of Cyrene, overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. Hmm. It could be accessed either by the road from Apollonia, via the necropolis, or by the Sacred Way, coming from the agora of the city. Nice. The abundance of temples and statues throughout the city reflect the various Greco-Roman and Egyptian cult influences over the centuries. Temples dedicated to Apollo, Cyrene, and Zeus stood alongside those of Ptolemaic gods, such as Serapis and Isid. Numerous nice. fountains were decorated to represent other gods, including the city's namesake, Cyrene. Hmm. Fascinating. Apollo is a Greek god. A vestibule known as a propyleum marked its entrance and highlighted the fountain of Apollo. God of the sun and of protection, Apollo was an important deity to both Greeks and Romans. Hmm, the sanctuary was... built in his honor was considered to be sacred. Didn't know he was a god of uh, protection. I knew he was a god of music, god of sun. Um, it's fascinating how... Uh, Roman, Greek, and Egyptian overlap. That makes sense, though, because they're the predominant the civilizations. The imposing temple was built on a natural cornice, stretching more than 200 meters in length and roughly 50 meters in width, and was surrounded by a vast Doric colonnade. Sections uncovered by archaeologists indicate restorations to the columns were made between 115 and 116 CE. Hmm. I mean, in that area, because Asia was thriving. Was located in front of the temple. Both are estimated to be the same age, though restored at different times. Many bulls were sacrificed each year at the altar in honor of Apollo. Hmm. The imprint in the stone of the ring used to strap the animals down is visible to this day. Wow, that's pretty messed up. People are just like into killing. Life was not that important back then. Carved during the Roman era, the Apollo Cytheride was discovered near the temple. It is considered an important archaeological find. The statue of Apollo was in pieces when it was uncovered. Remarkably, most fragments were found, and the restored statue is currently at the British Museum. Cool. The team extrapolated the statue's final look based on the current partial reconstruction and placed it inside the temple to reflect the patron deity of the area. It's interesting how they're venerating it. Like, it's fascinating. You can never think about that. But it's just like church today. What's the difference? He who wins the war. The amphitheater of Cyrene is located on what is known as the Terrace of Myrtosa, next to the Sanctuary of Apollo. It was built on top of the old theater in the second century. Originally used as a stage, the theater became an amphitheater once the taste for Roman gladiatorial entertainment reached the city. That's fascinating. If you if you don't think that we are just doing the exact same things before, look at uh, stadiums today and look at this amphitheater. Same stuff over and over. Entrances were placed at both ends of the amphitheater. A wall replaced the first two rows of bleachers as protection from the array of wild animals in the ring. 
the tunnel used for the parade of beasts and gladiators circled the arena, unlike the Roman Colosseum's tunnel, which was beneath the amphitheater. The basement and corridors accommodated both the gladiators and the animals, and included lifts that raised the traps into the arena's center. Hmm. Since the original theater was close to the cliffside, the expansion didn't allow for a perfect circle. Instead, junctions of the semicircle formed the arena into an oval shape. This elliptical formation still ensured an excellent view from all angles. The team decided to create a perfectly round theater for technical reasons and use the structure of the Roman theater as their reference. Okay. Oh, tour complete. Well, that was a pretty short one. Let's do Acropoli or Cyrene. San Andreas College are highly regarded and massive. Not so much. Nice. So, knowledge was important only in Cyrene. Or, no, Alexandria. What I do? Huh. Egyptians grew more food with less men, manpower than anywhere in the world. Fascinating. Welcome to the Acropolis of Cyrene. Who are those people over there? Located on the western edge of the city. Cyrene's Acropolis was smaller than the one in Athens, though its high vantage point provided protection for the city. At its entrance was a single door, flanked by two towers. Hmm. An inscription, legible to this day, states that the walls and the citadel were restored in the time of Augustus. So what is a, an Acropolis? A number of statuettes have been excavated from the site. Can you explain that? Including one of Berenice, the daughter of Magus, the king of Cyrene, and half-brother of Ptolemy II. At the northeast tower, there is a sanctuary consisting of two small temples with a vestibule and an altar believed to be that of Serapis and Iset. When the temples were excavated, archaeologists found traces of fire damage. However, there are no indications as to when this fire occurred. Hmm. If you hear a bit of barking, that's, uh, that's my dog. Trying to be a part of the, the game. Audio. Okay, here we go. Oop. In the 20th century, a fortification was built above the ward to defend against wow. an invading army. It covered the ancient remains of nearby Roman houses entirely, and archaeologists have yet to fully excavate them. So they fully had, like, these uh, coliseums in multiple places, eh? Fascinating. I know the Acropolis is, like, where they put the money to the Acropolis in Greece, in Athens, where they kept all the money and stuff. Maybe that's what that means? I don't know. I'll have to Google it. I'll Google it later. Okay, last one. Major exports. Welcome to Major Exports of Cyrene. This will be fascinating. Cyrene's main source of economic wealth was in the cultivation and export of poppies and silphium. Though the opium oil from the poppies was also an export, little is known about this crop. Huh, drugs. Information opium. about the cultivation of silphium, however, is more accessible to us. See, look at that. Like, everyone's always been using drugs. Poppies or uh, opium's heroin. Silphium, with its yellow flower, was considered a gift from the sun god. 
Grown solely in this region near the Mediterranean Sea, silphium extract was exported at high prices and was so crucial to the wealth of Cyrenaica that it was depicted on their coins. Hmm. So that's kind of funny about uh, speaking of like drugs and stuff, because uh, one of the major exports of Hong Kong back in the day was opium as well. Uh, so like, why is it illegal? Questions. Silphium's roots produced a resin used by both the Greeks and Romans in medicines intended to cure cough, fever, indigestion, and many other ailments. It was also used as a contraceptive. In hmm. a compilation of culinary recipes from the 4th century BCE, the herb is mentioned in various recipes, including a flamingo dish. Contraceptive? That's weird. High demand, overexploitation, and possibly a shift in climate all contributed to the eventual extinction of silphium. Hmm. So the last mention of it dates from the 4th century CE. And to this day, no traces of this plant have been identified. What? No way. So it's gone. So we don't even know what it really did because we couldn't, uh, we couldn't find anything or create it again, recreate it. Yeah, that's fascinating. See, look at all the things you can learn. They should really make more video games like this. Uh, I find it really dope. Um, yeah, but we will end it there. We finished our Egyptian series. We'll move on to the other ones after. Uh, yeah, till next time, stay learned. Take it easy. Woo! Bye bye.